Hi, I'm Molly Wood, and welcome to The Buzz Report, the show about the tech news that everyone is talking about. This week, it's the dangers of texting while driving laws, internet wiretaps, and a singing doggy. But first, it's the Gadget of the Week. The Gadget of the Week is the RIM Playbook. Sweet specs, people. The Playbook is a very cool-looking 7-inch tablet. It has a front-facing and rear-facing camera, a dual-core 1 GHz processor, multitasking, an HDMI port with full 1080p support, hot, and integration with BlackBerry Enterprise servers and devices. Plus, no wireless contracts required. I love it. However, there was no real demo of the device, no specific ship date other than the first quarter of 2011, and no price given. Huh. The specs you've always wanted with none of the details? Does that come preloaded with Duke Nukem Forever? Or wait, maybe it'll be bundled with the DirecTV TiVo. Yeah, no, that was delayed again this week, too. Yeah, until 2011. Maybe you felt the disturbance in the force, as though a million DirecTV subscriber voices suddenly cried out and were suddenly silenced. And now for the news. A study out this week finds that bans on texting while driving are not working. In fact, in three of the four states surveyed, there were actually more crashes reported since the bans went into effect. Now, I assume that it's because instead of texting like this, people are now texting like this. Dangerous. Or it could be that even if people stop texting, you still have plenty of them out there who will try to read the paper, shave, put on makeup, hopefully that's not the same person, all while driving. Our solution? Exploit the technology. Voice-activated services, hands-free systems that don't make you look like a dingleberry, self-driving cars. You get the picture. Seriously, self-driving cars. It's the only way. Moving on, the U.S. government wants to make it easier to wiretap the Internet. The Obama administration wants social networks, VoIP services, even P2P services to change the way their technology works so that federal agents can, with warrants, intercept, decrypt, or even tap into communications. Now, the government says terrorists and other criminals are using new technology to communicate instead of traditional phones or cell phones that could be tapped. Now, obviously, that would open up a ton of privacy concerns, not to mention the fact that hackers would probably use any technology backdoors even more than the government would. Then again, it's true that it's harder for law enforcement to catch the bad guys when they can just hide all their chatter in the cloud. It's a complicated issue, and I don't pretend to have all the answers. But maybe... We could just send all the terrorists a cute puppy? Would a terrorist hurt a puppy? Speaking of puppies, let's have a look at what's clogging the tubes. It's been a while since we had some YouTube gold, especially the kind that combines cute animals and auto-tune. Witness Mishka, the talking husky, singing. Sing Mishka. on iTunes. Yeah, seriously. The auto-tuned dog is on iTunes. There's your beautiful technology future come true, people. Not quite how you envisioned it, was it? And that's the Buzz Report for this week, everyone. I'm Molly Wood, and thank you for watching. That dog is awful. That dog is terrible. That dog is not a good singer. I could auto-tune sing way better than that dog. <laughs> um, all right. Should let's, we do our little promo? Let's go to the promo. Okay.